Hello friends, welcome to my channel Maths Time with Sagaraya. In this video, I will teach you how to find the sides of a right angle triangle when its area and perimeter are given. Before starting our video, I would like to request you friends please subscribe my channel so as to get the new notifications of my videos. Now, without any delay, let's move through the question. In the screen, you can see the question. The perimeter of a right angle triangle is 24 cm and its area is 24 cm square. And the sides of the triangle since the question say right angle triangle so i already made uh, one right angle triangle here and then uh, its perimeter is given so perimeter is given 24 cm and its area is also given area is given 24 cm square and we need to find the all the sides so we do not know this a side also b also c also since uh, this uh, opposite to capital A so uh, I have written a small a here so opposite to capital B I have written a small b here and opposite to capital C I have written c here so since this one is the longest side uh, b so this one is the hypotenuse this one is the perpendicular and this one is the base you can suppose this also as base uh, because no reference angle has is given now since here perimeter is given 24 cm so i will write here perimeter equals to oh, what is the formula for uh, perimeter of triangle so we have to say uh, sum all the sides so perimeter equals to a plus b plus c and perimeter is given 24 cm so i am writing here 24 and a plus b plus c and then uh, this 24 i am just bringing this b to this side minus b when it, uh, this b is brought to another side it becomes minus b and then a plus c so let it be equation one again now area is also given 24 cm square so we will use the formula for area of triangle so area of triangle equals to half into so base uh, into height we can write and then uh, a is given 24 so half into base is uh, this one so a and height is this one so height is c small c and 24 into 2 if you just multiply it will be 48 and a into c becomes ac and let it be equation 2 since it is a right angle triangle so in a right angle triangle the sum of uh, uh, h square is equal to p square plus b square so here h means b e square equals to p means this uh, c square plus b means a square so h square equal to p square plus b square so i am writing the same thing here now uh, in a right angle triangle right angle triangle h means b square equals to p means c square plus a mean, uh, b means a square or what we can do is uh, b square equals to c square plus a square can be written as c plus a whole square minus 2 c a the formula for a square plus b square is a plus b whole square minus 2 a b so or we can write b square equals to c plus a so a plus c or c plus a means 24 minus b so instead of c plus a i, I can write here 24 minus b whole square minus 2 into c a so we just uh, calculate the value of ac ac or c a same thing so ac equals to 48 here so i am writing here 48 or b square equals to so 24 minus b square just use the formula a minus b all square equals to a square minus 2 a b plus b square so a means 24 a means 24 and b means b here here also b minus 2 into 48 is 96 or b square equals to so 24 square is 576 minus 24 to the 48 b plus b square minus 96 so here is also plus b square 
and here is also plus b square so we can just cancel this because when this b square is brought to another side uh, it becomes minus b square and both will be cancelled or we can write here 0 so 576 minus 96 if you just subtract it will be uh, 17 minus 9 will be 8 and 480 minus 48 b so if you subtract this you will get 480 minus 48 b or you can just bring minus 48 b to this side and it becomes 48 b and here 480 as it is so minus 48 b just brought to this side becomes 40 plus positive 48 b equal to 480 so b equals to 480 divided by 48 or b equals to 10 after finding the value of b we are just going to put this uh, value of b in the equation 1 so equation 1 is 24 minus b equals to a plus c so uh, let's uh, put the value um, putting value of b in equation 1 we get twenty four minus ten equals to a plus c or twenty four minus ten is fourteen equals to a plus c equation two we can just uh, we know equation two a c equals to uh, forty eight so from here we can denote uh, c equal to 48 by 48 by a now uh, instead of c i am writing here 48 by a or 14 equals to a into a is a square plus 48 all divided by a just take the lcm nothing means 1 so 1 and a a so a into a is a square plus 48 into 1 is 48 or 14 into a becomes 14 a a square plus 48 or just uh, keep this uh, take this 14 a to another side so a square this for 14 a when it is brought to the right hand side becomes minus 14 a plus 48 or 0 equals to a square so you have, you have to factorize so by multiplying we have to get 48 and by adding we have to get 14 so 86 is a 48 and 8 plus 6 is 14 so i can write this minus 14 a as minus 8 a minus 6 a plus 48 or 0 equals to a a minus 8 minus 6 a minus 8 so if you take uh, a common here here remains a minus 8 and if you take uh, minus 6 common here becomes a minus 8 remember when there is minus sign you have to change this sign so plus becomes minus or 0 equals to a minus 8 common and a minus 6 also common so if you take either or either a minus 8 equals to 0 or a equals to 8 or a minus 6 equals to 0 or a equals to 6 therefore the three sides are so therefore a is uh, 6 and therefore b is 10 and then therefore c equals to c is uh, here you can see c equals to 45 48 by a so 48 by a means 40 since we took here a 6 so just put value 6 so the three sides are 6 10 and 8 please subscribe like and share my videos with your friends see you soon with more educational videos thank you